To create a peer review using a Moodle forum, I'm going to first come in and turn editing on in Moodle. And this is going to give me a bunch of little icons here to let me know that it's on. And then I'm going to add an activity and I'll add a discussion forum here. I'm going to give my forum a title. And then I'm going to paste in instructions that I wrote in Word. And I do that so that I don't accidentally lose those instructions if Moodle doesn't upload. Um, and let's go through these instructions. The first thing I do is inform students that they will need to upload a draft as either a doc or, or a rich text format file. Um, they're going to end up also responding to two of their peers' papers in the class. And I give them the deadlines, Thursday at noon to upload their papers. And I want them to write a short note to their peer responders, talking about any problems they had with the paper, providing two open-ended questions that they can use to help them revise. And then they have until Sunday at midnight to respond to the papers posted by their peers, um, in which they'll address the, the problems the peers had, answer their two questions, and then I've always provide a couple of extra questions that they can respond to. I want each of their responses to be 200 words long, and then I just let them know if they don't do this activity, they don't get credit. And here are the questions that I'm asking, the additional ones that they can comment on. And I'm just going to highlight these and sort of bullet them so that they stand out a little bit. And again, I'm providing a reminder of the due dates, when they need to post their paper and when they need to respond. I'm going to come down here and make sure that my students can upload the maximum attachment size for their papers. It probably won't make a difference. Um, an average of ratings. And this one I'm going to do grade as does not meet, meets, or exceeds expectations. I'm setting the dates here. I won't be able to grade any papers that are posted after the deadline, after August 19th. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save and display because my next step is to create peer groups, threads for each group. And I've just got my grade book out here, and I'm going to go through the grade book and add a new discussion topic for each peer group. And in this case, I'm going to add my first thread is going to be for Jane, for Marcus, and for Sam. And this is the thread that the three of them will use to post their papers and to respond to each other's papers. I'm going to use this opportunity to paste in a sort of abbreviated form of the instructions for them so that they're again reminded of the deadlines. I don't want them to get email copies of these posts. And I'm going to click Continue. Now, if I'm Jane and I'm coming in to upload my paper, I'm going to find my name. This is my discussion thread, and I'm going to click Reply. I'll come in here, and this is where I'll write to my peers about the problems I've been having and the, the two questions I have that I want them to answer about my paper. Click Browse, find my paper, open, and post it to the forum. Now if I'm Marcus, I'm going to come in and click on Jane's paper. and I'm going to read her paper. In this case, I'm not going to be very impressed. And I tell my students that I don't spend more time responding to their papers than I think they spent writing those papers, and I let peers do this the sa as well. So in this case, Marcus's response is not going to be great because Jane's paper was not very good. And then he's going to post his response to her. And so you'll see how this thread sort of comes out with each person uploading their paper and responding.